Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Raw Talk, everybody. Uh, I am being joined alongside my co-host, Aaron, who we are going to be interviewing just a couple of superstars. But before we go down the road, we're going to just go over a, a little bit on what happened earlier today. And, um, you know, based off when the show started, we had uh, Victor, or not Victor, excuse me, we had Scott Steiner come out first. And, you know, he came out here, he had a lot of great stuff to say. He came in and he did not let anything go down too well. He let everybody know that he came back here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to become the next Intercontinental Champion. And uh, I guess we'll interview him a little later during the show. But later on uh, in the show, we start out the night with Victor fighting Bruce Mitchell, uh, champion versus mm-hmm. champion. And it mm-hmm. was a really great match back and forth. But unfortunately for Bruce Mitchell, the Raw, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions was able to walk out victorious on that one. Unfortunately for, uh, well, yeah, unfortunately mm-hmm. for Michelle, uh, he suffers another loss tonight. And, and only one signature, too, nonetheless. So then also later on, we had the team of Asuka, Paige, and Charlotte, uh, 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 the female uh, superstar version of a super team, go up against Bailey, Angelina Love, and Summer Rae. And we all knew this from the get-go that, you know, Bailey, Angelina Love, Summer Rae, they, they had little to no chance of winning the matchup. And even though they did a, they did pretty well, better than anticipated, they still ended up taking the loss in that matchup. Well, then later on, we also had Give David Mitchell fight that. Matt Morgan. And guys, you saw what happened. Hellevator didn't do it. Went for the carbon footprint. Almost hit it, but no. Uh, he just couldn't get the job done. And then uh, David ended up securing the victory in a convincing fashion. How does a guy the size of David beat a guy like Matt Morgan, who's practically a brick wall with feet? How does that even happen? How do you prepare for that to, to go in a matchup with a guy, again, like Matt Morgan and, and beat him? That's like... That's like my scenario. I, like, like, that's like when I was talking to Ethan Black and he was going against a big guy who's uh, bigger than him. You can say the same scenario about him. David got will. Size don't mean <laughs> If you don't got the willpower to back up that size, the smallest person will put you down. Because that don't mean jack to them. Everybody trying to make it about size matter. That is a the smallest person can put you down. And then later on in the night, we had uh, Logan Andrea make his, you know, his second match count the most as he went up against the former two-time world champion, the bad guy. And it was a, it was a really good back and forth contest. Two big men just beating the crap out of each other, showing the the dominance of what true power is. But ultimately, Logan Andrea was able to pick up the victory with a lash ride power bomb to the bad guy. But here's the match that everybody was really intrigued on. We had Iron Man beat the crap out of quest for seven straight minutes okay seven straight minutes and then eventually mm-hmm. quest made the comeback of a lifetime he came in and just i don't know what it was if he woke up or if he just went on autopilot or just turn on the afterburners yes yeah, like like quest was out of power and then he found a power generator woke up electrified the crowd made the comeback of a lifetime finished it off with the gts picked up the win and again that right there what he did tonight is even more facts to where I say that Quest is one of those guys, right? Like right now, he is one of the all-time greats to never win a world championship. And I do believe if he gets an opportunity, he will get the damn championship. And then uh, later on in the, in the match or the show, it was uh, <laughs> we had a five-minute world championship match, guys. M- Mario took on Muhammad and what was... I mean, it, it wasn't... It wasn't, the rest of the match was like five star. This match was just a grudge match. They put it like this. He was dug to me, basically, that kind of how me and where I was talking to the new um, Universal Champion. Me and him basically just dubbed it what it is a squash match. It didn't feel like a rematch from WrestleMania. It felt like a squash match. It did. And exactly because at WrestleMania, it was back and forth. Muhammad, yeah, exactly. Muhammad got a few hits, but it's mostly been. It's mostly and, at, been and when it mattered most, he went for the, the super time. kick and he missed. Completely missed. This, this is completely no sell the super kick. I um, don't chill the super kick. He just dodged it. He went for the super kick and instead of readjusting the way he is, 
Uh, Mario is. Excuse me. Mario went wide left. He went straight to the middle. Exactly, but at the end of the day, it still took two whispers in the wind, a chosen fate, and a swan tom bomb to put Muhammad away, but again, it took only a matter of five minutes to get the job done. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guests at this time. We have the Intercontinental Champion, Bruce Mitchell, and the new WWE Universal Champion, the Chosen One, Mario, a.k.a. D-X. All right, so, uh, you know... Let's go ahead and uh, ask Mario. Mario, how does it feel knowing that you are now the new WWE Universal Champion? And again, you got your rematch of a lifetime. You beat you beat Muhammad, the guy who beat you at WrestleMania in the main event. You got your revenge, and you did it within five minutes. It's got to feel pretty damn great. Am I right or am I wrong? You're right. <clears throat> and uh, earlier, I told everybody that I was going to beat Muhammad, and I was going to embarrass him. And, you know, I told I told everybody that, that I was going to beat you know, basically destroy him, and I t and Bruce was in my corner. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, but he did not. He didn't interfere. He didn't distract the referee. He didn't distract Muhammad. I won fair and square, and I I told Bruce to mind his own business, and that's what he did. And you know, I Is that basically what you told me? I basically beat him Is in five minutes, or maybe six, cleanly now, and fairly. Know, so Muhammad, Mo yeah, Muhammad doesn't have no excuse. And I told Muhammad that I wasn't going to take any of his anymore. And you know, and, and it feels good to have a tot around my waist again, <clears throat> around my shoulders. It's been a while. But, you know, I plan on holding this title for, the, for a while now. plan on uh, breaking the record, whoever's the owner of the damn record. I'm going to break it. What's that record? Six and a half months. Six and a half months. Let's make it ten and a half months, guys. Hopefully. I don't know. But we'll find out. But Bruce, where is Bruce at? Is Bruce right here? Uh, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, okay, what's up, Bruce? So, uh, how are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Okay, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, Bruce. Because I yeah. saw you at the front row, but you didn't do anything. I know you got um, uh, really match. Uh, you had to wear a bike on your own as far as Brandon Johnson is concerned. Is it a submission match or a street rules match at um, street rules? Well. It's gonna be extreme rules. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta remember that for future reference. Uh, and I know you you and Brandon have bad blood, but then again, everybody has bad blood with Brandon for some good reason. It's like his smart mouth gets him to a whole lot of Yeah, I'm gonna... You're, um, I've been more with you as well. Extreme rules. I'm going to do anything I can to stop Brendan <coughs> in his mouth. Now, Bruce, let me, let me tell you something real quick. So, Bruce, why why you take the headset off? You know, you know, we're we're, we're on raw talk. You know, why, why are you taking the headset off? You know, I mean, we gotta commentate, we gotta talk. So, Bruce, like, when me and you, you and I, I should say, we're on a different promotion called Impact. Well, I can talk about it now. We said one day we're gonna come back to the WWE. We're gonna take over. We're gonna take over the tag team. We're gonna take over. You said we're gonna win all the titles. And so far, we almost done it. You're the Intercontinental Champion. I'm the new uni Universal Champion. And now we're just. We're, uh, okay, another question. Yeah, well, go ahead. Just by you saying that, don't tell me you have recruited some people to join BS or y'all choose when on what. Well, well, we talked about it, and we're, we're going to stay um, a duo for a while, you know, and then if people start to act up, we're going to bring some more members in, you know. But, you know, we're just keeping it cool with everybody for now until someone wants to act up, you know. So in other cases, you're going to try to go for Yeah, oh, yeah, we're going for those titles. We're, we're going yeah. for yeah. the Raw Tag Team Championships. Whether anyone likes it or not, we're going to earn our way. We'll beat the Hardys. We'll beat... Um, the Ascension, whoever the hell comes on our way, you know. We'll even beat the New Day. We'll, we, we'll beat the, we'll uh, beat Bear Money, we'll beat the New Day, you know. We'll beat all the tag teams. We'll go to SmackDown, beat those tag teams too. We'll go to ECW, beat those tag teams. You know, we'll do it all. And, um, you know, yeah. basically. Me, yeah, me and Mario. We're, we're going to be the next Hardys, but well, maybe a little better because we're still young. And, man, yeah, it feels good. Well, that lets you know that he feels good to be Universal Champion. He felt 
So this is pretty interesting because you you guys say you're gonna uh, you know hold all the titles and so you're halfway somewhat halfway there. You, you guys just need the tag titles yeah, and the cruiserweight championship and then that's yeah you guys got it uh, done. Um, so who's gonna be holding that extra third championship? Have you guys talked about that yet? But actually technically speaking, um, I guess Mar, you'd have to be the one to hold the extra title since you're actually eligible to fight for the cruiserweight championship since you are 200 pounds and Bruce is well he's 340. Um, so I mean, do do you feel like you can beat a guy like Chris Stevens for the cruiserweight championship? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think you need I could be pretty pretty much anybody. And you know, um, I'm gonna. Challenge other people in the future, like maybe Brock Lesnar, Braun Strowman, Big Show, maybe whoever the hell wants it. Big Cass talking a lot of crap, being down in uh, Enzo. Well, he's not even on Raw. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <clears throat> but um, I feel like a cruiserweight championship, the cruiserweight championship, I should say, wouldn't be the best fit for me. I guess. WWE yeah, I mean, I, I could win. I could win the cruiserweight championship. Well, I mean, I don't know. But you know, Bruce, we said we were going to do it. And we did yeah, it. We're going to do everything. But now, it's time for a change. You know what that changes, yeah. Bruce? But I am taking this championship to the back. And they're giving me some DX freaking plates, homie. Because I ain't walking around without DX on it. I don't care if it's spray painted. Oh, yeah. I don't care if it's if it's I don't if it's hella small. If it says DX on it, I'll be satisfied. So you know. Uh, uh, yeah, man, we're coming hard. Like I I told Bruce, we're not playing around no more. We're, we're, I'm done playing around. I'm done playing games. It's time to take this I career serious. I yeah, I, mean, I told you a couple times when I was in Impact. But you know. <laughs> uh, any more questions? All right. Well, I guess Bruce. I guess this is our time to go. I mean, uh, please welcome our final guest at the time, Mr. Scott Steiner. Yeah. Well, you know, I want to come back in here and I want to go ahead and you know I want to test the waters out and then I'll work my way up to the top. But first, I I came back here because I see a bunch of disrespectful punks walking around the locker room. They look they they look like and and feel like they deserve something around here. But they ain't deserve nothing. If I come back here and I beat one of the top guys on Monday Night Raw, make him tap out like the little. She is that I believe mm -hmm. I'm next to lie for the Intercontinental Championship. And if Brandon Johnson has a problem with me, he can step up and say something and do something about it. Because I ain't going to just stand around and let him talk like that. Matter of fact, next time I see him, I'm going to pop him. Alright, I got it. Oh, oh, what the hell? What the, what the hell's going on here? Bruce, what? Wait, Bruce, get the hell off him. Why are you attacking Scott Steiner for? Oh, come on, man, this is ridiculous. Somebody, se se we need security. Somebody needs to come over here and restrain order between these two men. This is gonna, this is getting out of hand way quick and all here Scott Steiner. Oh, my God. No, come on. So I told somebody to get some down referees, some down security guards, somebody. Do something. Stop. Come on, people in the back. What are you doing? Get over here. Do something. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Scott, now you're gonna kill. Oh, my God.